Hello everyone, I am Dr. Venkat Ramna. This is uh, regarding uh, vitiligo treatment. In the continuation of our earlier videos on melanocyte transplant for leukoderma patches. When a leukoderma disease becomes stable, by definition, the disease is uh, stable means there is no change in the patches over a year duration. That means a person is not developing a new patch or he is not resolving from their existing patches. They are the ideal patients who will have a small patchy areas and the exposed areas mainly on the face, legs and foot. These are the areas which can be treated very well with melanocyte transplant. Today I am going to share uh, two three patients uh, uh, stories how they have developed the disease and how the disease was stable and uh, how it was treated and le led to the a good outcome after melanocyte transplant. Uh, see here, uh, now let us understand how the procedure is exactly done. Uh, mark the area where uh, there is a, a stable vitiligo patch. I am making the area raw with the help of a, a diamond bar. This is done under local anesthesia with a surface uh, cream followed by injection in the area where I am going to do the procedure. With this, I am under uh, magnification. I make the area a little uh, raw so that when we put the melanocyte extract material, the cells get implanted there, thereby they produce the uh, pigmentation, that is melanin by the implanted melanocytes. For this, once uh, we take a skin graft from the patient uh, thigh or uh, concealed areas and the amount of skin graft required is exactly almost 50% of the area which we are supposed to cover. When somebody is having a 10 cm patch, we need to take a 4-5 cm patch that is uh, sufficient. That is uh, the whole uh, advantage with the melanocyte transplant. We can harvest a smaller graft piece and make the cover the a larger area with the help of cells. Once the graft is taken, we trypsinize the graft and centrifuge the air, air material. You can see the melanocyte uh, material I am uh, uh, spreading on the uh, raw area. Thereby, these cells get uh, implanted there. Uh, the precautions to be taken immediately after the procedure is we keep the patient for one hour without uh, moving from the area thereby the uh, as soon as we put on the raw area cells are going to get implanted on the raw area once the cells implanted we after one hour we're going to uh, cover the area with a small patch of uh, dressing and then move they don't need uh, an absolute uh, uh, immobilization like if you put a skin graft, it looks like a patch, routine skin graft and we have to stitch the edges and then it is always it looks like a patch and we have to immobilize the patient also for a, a longer period. Here we don't need to immobilize. Once it is done, you can see how it turns slowly over a period of uh, time. In the next images, you can see here after the five days after five days we remove the dressing there are small patchy areas and it appears as it is white only as though there is nothing done and see next in the next image there is a implantation started there there is a, a little pigmentation which is still not uh, matching to the skin but uh, a week after week it is going to get uh, a darker and try and get uh, matched to the surrounding area this is a chronologically after uh, uh, three weeks and then you can see here after four weeks. See now it is uh, almost uh, covered after just four to six weeks and the white hair is there on the scalp and the eyebrow. We do hair transplant for this uh, white hair on the scalp and also eyebrow. Once we do the hair transplant there, the surrounding skin also becomes uh, melanized and then uh, hair roots become darker you can see the 
another example similar lady where uh, same uh, forehead uh, stable vitiligo patch has been um, grafted and the dressing uh, removed after a week can see a clear cut uh, pigmentation slowly it gets uh, pigmented over uh, four weeks followed by eight weeks and then it uh, slowly matches with the surrounding uh, skin the this is a distinct advantage with the melanocyte transplant where you don't uh, um, see the ragged edge or uh, a patchy appearance this will match as similar to the natural uh, skin pigment compared to the as similar as possible compared to the a patch graft which normally we place for uh, this is a advanced treatment and it helps the patients and consider for a stable vitiligo patients thank you